What up here? Where you coming from? Where you coming from? I'm from Pakistan. Look at the phone. What are you doing? 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 Where are you getting the goat? I'm going to raise them. Yeah? So you raise the goat man and have to kill him like a chunk. You can go to the goat man and have to kill him. No, but we don't have no one to kill him. We don't have no one to kill him. Up and rock the best. Where is he then? We don't have a receipt, sir. Hmm? We don't have a receipt, man. We don't have a receipt. Where is the farm then? Up and rock the best. Yeah? Yeah, thank you. Good farm and rock the best. I don't know farm, but just raise them. Yeah, just raise them. Yeah. Welcome to Crime Time News and Entertainment with a Buzz. The video that you just saw is of an incident that took place in a place called St. Mary. One of those two persons that you heard his name is Sean. He is frequent in a gale. Apparently these two men went on some sorts of mission of the thief in goat type. Apparently the poor poor got some sorts of information, some description of the vehicle. When they pull over the vehicle and fly the trunk, they were surprised to see a couple of goats. You heard when the poor poor asked them the question, which spy you get them goat ya? Who for goat them is? You have any sorts of receipts? Just based on their looks, demeanor, you could tell that they were lying because that is what thieves do, they lie. It is only a pity that the people that are the rightful owners of these goats did not catch them in the act and turn them into some sorts of premature curry goats. You know exactly what I am speaking about. Now we've noticed that these goat thief, cow thief, them are play some sorts of cat and mouse games with the farmers and the poor poor. Them go up on a rampage. As soon as the people them catch them or poor poor catch them, better yet when the farmers catch them and put them, send them to the afterlife, then them kind of cool out. Make things kind of simmer down for a little bit and then them come out. It is only a pity that these persons, big, strong, strapped in men, don't decide that they want to do any sorts of 9 to 5, any sorts of legal hustle. They want to pray on purses. But the same way that you pray on purses, goat, is the same way that the prey should turn the predator into the prey. Send them to the afterlife without any sorts of prayer or chances. Point blank and period. When a girl give you a chance to fuck her, you better fuck her. Because when your time up, your time blood clot up. Believe me. All right. Some man said they might dig out girl belly and about stab out girl all and that some of the time girl leave like that and him not tell you because when you time up your time up no matter what you do in it when you time up you could have a near pussy little more because you say when you near pussy you can't take with a man girl but you could have near me little more when you time up your time blood clot up so me tell someone like that boy when they no near pussy girl stay with them like no no bumbo clot go so no matter what you bumbo clot do when a girl say you done with you when you time up can you just stay there come and tell a man quick so when you time up pussy wall there's no see your time up no worry nothing at all now the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called producer lost his life prematurely. Based on information, it is said that the person that you see in that video, his name is Mr. Liston, a.k.a. Stunner. He is some sort of renowned producer in the music business. Information is that he was on some sort of week, birthday celebration. However, he has diabetes but he drinks heavily and he was on some sorts of F-R-E-A-K, S-U-C-K-I-N-G and F-U-C-K-I-N-G mission. When the blue pill kick in, you know me I talk about the Viagra. So on top of his diabetic condition, plus the heavy drinking, plus the blue pill, you know that it is a very bad combination. Yes, it is good to go out with a bang. However, you do not want to go out when you are banging. So the moral of the story is that this is a very sad situation. Whether word on the street is true or this man just lost his life prematurely because of diabetes. Whichever way that it is, it is sad. You need to take precaution as it pertains to your health. Your health is more important than your wealth. Your health is more important than having any sorts of freaky O-R-G-Y party. If this is the case, people, me not really know, me just I tell you what the street has said. And based on the video that he posted, he might be involved in a some sorts of freaky deekyism. Point blank and period. This one is called The Dangers of Social Media and How Dangerous These Social Media Influencers Are 
to the younger generation of Jamaican all who don't have any sorts of sense who like to follow hype who think that the most despicable things should be endorsed by John Public. The picture that you see on the screen is of a social media influencer. His name is Pops YG. He is always seen on social media doing all sorts of buffoonery. Well, people, I think in this case, he eclipsed himself. He brought the bar even lower as it pertains to this pickable act. This man was seen in a video, viral video, in which he was giving some sorts of donkey or mule, some Hennessy, cranberry, blueberry water, and also Belier. Because of YouTube's policy against any sorts of A, B, U, S, E, man or animal or any sorts of animal cruelty, I cannot show you this. I put it in my WhatsApp group. I am sure that most of these bloggers that are always over there anchoring, they don't know any sorts of better, so more than likely they are going to show it on the YouTube's platform, not knowing that they are violating the policy, but because of the hype. So I say this to say that whoever knows better should do better. Sometimes we have to wonder if these persons are as foolish as them look. But the truth and the fact is that there's a method to the madness. These people know, say, Jamaican crowd, especially, specifically upon TikTok, they like despicable acts. They like anything that is immoral because they know that is what sell. S E X cells and any sorts of despicable act. So this should probably don't even know that this is some sorts of cruelty to some sorts of animal. So therefore him just sit down and him come up with some sorts of diabolical plan. What can I do to do some sorts of shot the world right now and people? This is exactly what he did and this is exactly what sells on social media. Welcome to the new age of Jamaicans, social media personalities. And what is even worse, whenever the relevant authority hold him and charge him and arrest him for cruelty to some sorts of animal, the people I'm going to say, but hold on a minute. He never K-I-L-L -L the donkey. He never lick the donkey. The donkey is drinking all sorts of expensive top shelf liquor as in Hennessy, as in Belier. So therefore, what kind of harm was done? Well, just in case he did not know, he was ignorant to the fact the harm that was done is that it was done to some sorts of dumb animal that did not make a decision for itself. This or any other type of animal in a Jamaica would not know that the day would come when they would come into contact with sick, demented people like these that are going to feed them some sorts of liquor that is going to kiss them on the mouth and that is going to promise to shove them H-O-O-D in them belly or get some sorts of B-L-O-W job. People, that is exactly what we saw in this video. Like me say, if you want a video, contact me, 1876 894 2711 You want the video with the donkey and um, Pops YG, Leave a message, leave your name, do not call, do not video call, point blank and period. So the next thing that is popping in the news and continuing on the theme of sick, demented personnel. I am speaking about artist Sean Kingston and his mother. It seems as if the legal woes for them even get worse and worse with every passing day. They are again in a sum source of trouble for 960 thousand US dollars. That is just short of a million US dollars. Now this is based on a default judgment that was passed in a court a couple of days ago in which the plaintiff Dreamwatch said that they sold Sean Kingston two watches. A Richard Milley, the price 534 grand and a Pate Philippe 378 grand that comes up to about $912,000. The next $4,000, I guess, is a legal fee or traveling. Now, people are ready court documentation and the paperwork. Based on the information that is out there, it is said that Sean Kingston contacted this company, Dreamwatch. He told him he saw two pieces of watch that he liked and he wants to purchase them. These people are located all the way in a Malaysia. 
But you know, say Sean Kingston, big talker, scammer extraordinaire told him, don't worry, I want these watches. I am going to pay for your fee to travel back and forth to come see me in Los Angeles, California. That is what they did. When he went there, he looked at the pieces and he said, yes, this is exactly what I want. Bag them up. I am ready to pay. I am going to do some sorts of wire transfer. Based on the court documentation, it is said that he then went on his computer and he wired $916,000 to these people. So therefore, the sales representative that flew all the way from Malaysia was right there witnessing everything on the computer. Unbeknown to him is that this transfer was going to be red flag. Mr. Sean Kingston did not have the money or he was going to cancel it even if he had the money. Based on the court documentation, they shook hand. Deal was complete. The sales rep that represented Dreamwatch, he left, jumped on a plane at the expense of Sean Kingston. Big baller went back to Malaysia. However, when he reached and he spoke with his partners over there, he realized that the transfer was not completed. It is said that based on the documentation, they tried to contact Sean Kingston for about three months or so. There was no source of communication. Him cut them off and blocked them. Now, like the saying goes, when it rains, it pours and it pours and it rains. And people, it has been raining all sorts of lawsuits against Sean Kingston and his mother lately. Well, it has been raining lawsuits for the last couple of years. So things have been going from bad to worse for Sean Kingston and his mother as it pertains to legal woes. And we saw that maybe about a month or so ago, the straw that brought the cameras back was when some sorts of TV audio company did some sorts of lawsuit and they went by his house in a southwest ranches that is in close to Pembroke Pines, Davy area. And they seized a system that was worth about 120000 Based on what the company said, Sean Kingston gave them some source of deposit of about twenty or 30000 So therefore, he owed in excess of 190000 That payment was not forthcoming. Those lawsuits, including other lawsuits from some sorts of luxury, bedding company, TV company, car company, jewelry company, you name it, everybody was suing him up the ASS. As a matter of fact, isn't it ironic? When they held him in California, he was served with this paperwork from this same company as it pertains to the watch, meaning dream watches that is in Malaysia. So when we look at the recent history of arrests and charges on Sean Kingston and his mother's name, we have to ask the question, are these people just people that make all sorts of wild allegations and accusations against them? Because we've seen this all before. A lot of companies, all sorts of luxury companies, as a matter of fact, if you remember, he had come to Jamaica and he had rented some sorts of mansion, some sorts of vehicle. And those same people that he rented the mansion from, they were complaining that they were going to sue him. The same thing as it pertains to some sorts of luxury vehicle. So therefore, he has a history. But it seems as if he and his mother, they are delusional. They don't even understand what they are doing. The serious trouble and serious implication as it pertains to time that they are facing. Because when you look at the fact that the charges in the state, serious but even worse with the feds. Look at the fact that the feds have a 97 to 99% conviction rates. And that is most people that are going to plea because whenever there's any source of indictment, more than likely are going to be found guilty. You do not want to take the chances. But these people are so stupid to take these people thing, know that there is paperwork and documentation, contractual agreements in which they have breached, but they want to take all of these companies to trial. People, it makes absolutely no sorts of sense. So now what we're witnessing is karma finally catching up to them for all of their bad deeds. But it seems as if they are dazed and confused or just delusional. But like them say, if you don't learn the easy way, you are going to learn the hard way. As soon as them get some real time, then they will sit down and think about it for about a decade or so. Point blank and 
period. So the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called, it is either Popcorn does not give a F-U-C-K about his life. Bigger question, is Popcorn's life really in some sorts of imminent danger or is it hearsay? Because based on information that we got a couple of years ago, is that virus cartel want to take out popcorn. There was some sorts of incident in which popcorn was being trailed. There was some sorts of hit on his head. However, the popo saved the day, just like some sorts of hero. And then we saw that Sean Stan before his release had some sorts of song that was released on the big yard in which he was saying the new name for Informa is Poppy. We also saw that Vibes Cartel's son, Little Addy and Little Vibes, had some sorts of song in which them say them can't trust popcorn. So the question that I am asking, based on all that we saw and based on a recent video and a recent picture that is making its round all over social media, in which Sean Storm was performing at a place that is called Mecca. Now, just about after his performance was ended, you could hear the DJ saying that Popcorn is in the house. You could see Sean Storm and Popcorn dapping it up, shaking hand as they used to do back in the days with the Gaza. We know that Popcorn is now unruly. I want you to take a listen, take a look at the actual video in which Sean Storm was performing. If you look clearly, you could also see the man from Bright Light was also in attendance. Take a listen, take a look at the edited version of this video and then I'll give my piece. <laughs> Now the reason why I showed you this video is not because of Sean Storm's performance and yes he had the people in our frenzy but I wanted you to also see the next person that was in attendance meaning Tommy from Bright Lights. If you did not know Tommy from Bright Light is the same person that was outside when the Vibes Cartel and his co accused got released, including Sean Storm. Tommy from Bright Lights, allegations out there from people that said that he was responsible for Nick photo work. He was responsible for Lizard's body being cremated and dashed in a some sorts of sea. So I say this to say that it is either something is not right or these people are just bare face. How is it that Vice Cartel would hire Mr. Tommy from Bright Light to be his security detail? How is it that Tommy from Bright Light is still around Vice Cartel and it seems as if he is playing a very important role as it pertains to security for Vice Cartel and his one score accused? The question that I have to ask is this. If Popcorn's life was in imminent danger, wouldn't Popcorn realize to himself then hold on a minute? This are not Tommy from Bright Light where we hear say dash where people, cremate people and fling them in a sea. Could this actually happen to me? That would be a question that would cross my mind if I was Popcorn. So the question that any rational thinking person would ask is, if my life in a danger, and this man that is notorious for dashing away people, I'm here said this man tried to take me out before, that is going to be the last person that I am going to want to be around, unless of course Popcorn is so afraid for his life. So therefore it is damn if he do, damn if he don't. If he don't turn up around Vibes Cartel, him knows that the people and meaning the Gaza nation is going to pray him. Or maybe he just don't think there's any sorts of credibility to anything that he has been hearing. So therefore he is just going to overlook it as if it did not happen. It is just hearsay. And the fact of the situation is that yes, Vibes Cartel boss Popcorn. Vice Cartel gave him the platform, however, he took that platform when Vice Cartel was incarcerated and he made himself into a global superstar. So therefore, at this point, 
he really does not need the Gaza because he has his own camp that is very successful, making money, living in mansions, driving all sorts of luxurious vehicles. There is nothing that Vice Cartel can do him other than he is going to take him on his wave. But he actually does not need Vice Cartel nor Sean Storm, point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Peace up.